Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us on The Crows Show. Brought to you by Chemist Warehouse. I'm Mark Bickley. And I'm Alana Smith. As the season unfolds, we'll give you a unique insight into the Adelaide Football Club. You'll meet the players, coaches and support staff, get to know more about them and see how they all contribute to the 2016 campaign. It's showdown weekend and who could forget this fiery clash from the very first showdown in 1997. We'll hear Jamo's version of what happened shortly. Also, the club hopes this guy can become a dominant force in defence. And come away with David McKay on his favourite holiday. But first, from a magpie to a crow, Paul Seisman is one of the club's high profile recruits. After 49 games with Collingwood, he wanted a change and chose Adelaide ahead of two or three other rival clubs. The 2015 Anzac medalist is certainly used to big games like showdowns. Howlett. Oh. <laughs> good stuff, Seedsman. Collingwood, obviously, one of the, the good things is every week you play at, you know, in front of 50,000, and, and Adelaide's very similar. I think, you know, last year had the, the highest home crowd attendance, so the showdown, you know, I watch it every year on, on the telly, and, you know, it's something that you always want to be a part of. I never thought I'd get the opportunity. The winner of the Anzac Day medal is Paul Seedsman. I had a couple of quiet ones uh, before I got the medal on Anzac Day. Um, so, yeah, I, something that I wanted to, to resurrect and, and play better on, on the big stage and um, yeah, I'll hopefully keep that going. It's been really good. It's been a good transition uh, for myself, uh, moving over from, from Melbourne to Adelaide and yeah, it's been it's been great. The club's uh, been awesome and, and yeah, it's been a really smooth transition. Adelaide are going to win. Phil Walsh's team are going to win. The way obviously the team performed last year um, was just phenomenal under the circumstances. Uh, and yeah, it's a great list, great, co uh, great coach and organisation. And yeah, once everything was put together, it was just pretty clear that that was the best decision for me. Adelaide's awesome. Um, the traffic's obviously one thing that is a lot better than Melbourne. You know, you're 15, 20 minutes from everywhere. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's been great. It's a lot more relaxed. It's got everything you need here. The season has only just begun in earnest, but recruiting staff are already well down the path in their search for the next generation of stars. It's an important job and at times all consuming. So how do the talent watchers go about their business at this time of the year? The next year starts basically once the draft finishes. So once we have induction for the parents and the new players, uh, we pretty much move straight on to next year once the rookie list's done. So a little bit of December is review, uh, review the draft, review the last five years of draft, and that takes some time. So every pick in the last five years we go over and review. Uh, try and take a little bit of time off in January, but we try and rotate that through the full timer so that there's always someone there because, for example, this year, Scotty Aquilina's in America with the AFL Academy players in January. So there's always one or two of us still working in January and there's a lot of preparation for the year ahead. And we've got a team of interns that work in the Melbourne office from Victoria University, sports management trainees and interns, they come in and help us with um, database and processing of numbers and stats and all that sort of stuff. Again, even down to making magnets, we need a magnet for every player that might be in consideration and get the board set up. That's a big part of um, our preparation is getting the board set up for the year, year ahead. Spun through from Dean Gore. So we try and watch every NAB Cup game because um, we like to see the young guys who often get a chance in the NAB Cup. Uh, interviews go throughout the year at different stages. Um, some boys have got big commitments with school and exams and so forth, so you'll leave them go. Oh, we, we have some really key fundamentals that we don't like to deviate from, and I don't want to go into those too much, but clearly competitiveness has got to be very important because it's such a, uh, a ruthless, tough game. and. Guess what, when you walk out of Adelaide Oval in front of 50,000 against Port, the Port blokes are trying to beat you and our blokes are trying to beat them. So it's really, really competitive. And if you haven't got that natural competitive streak, it's, it's hard to stand up in big AFL finals and grand final day, which is what we're all about. You're watching The Crows Show. After the break, Alana introduces us to the Crouch Brothers. On the field, they're as tough as they come. But what are they like at home? and we catch up with another newcomer to the coaching ranks. <laughs> 